Hello, my name is Jennifer Terry. I make Philippine travel updates. In this video, we could talk about who can enter the Philippines, what are their entry requirements, and how long can they stay in the country. So we've heard the good news last month that, yay, the Philippines will finally reopen its borders for almost two years of being closed. And there is no quarantine upon arrival as long as you're fully vaccinated. Great. Now let's talk about who can enter. There will be uh, four types here, four types of people who can enter. Let's start with Filipino citizens, dual Filipino citizens, of course, Philippines is your home, you can enter. Vaccinated or not, you can enter the country. While this includes Filipinos who are already permanent residents abroad, you are still a Filipino citizen. Therefore, you may enter our beautiful country vaccinated or not but of course if you're unvaccinated you will quarantine in the hotel you already know for filipinos entering the country going home you need to comply with the negative test requirement 48 hours rt-pcr before departure and then one health pass registration qr code and lastly if you're fully vaccinated vaccination card or certificate if you're somebody who recently recovered from covid who is a filipino citizen this is all you need para makapasok ng Philippines if you are still testing positive. And this privilege of entering as a recently recovered person with positive test result is only for Filipino citizens, not for foreigners. Moving forward, let's talk about foreigners who may enter the country. I want to emphasize this. Only fully vaccinated foreign nationals can enter the country. There are exemptions, however. 12 years old below, do not need to be fully vaccinated as long as they are accompanied by a fully vaccinated parent or parents. So everyone else, 12 years old and above, if you're a foreign national, you need to be fully vaccinated to enter our country. For people who are medically unable to get vaccinated, I will gather more information about that. I think there will be some news in the future for you. But for now, you need to be fully vaxxed if you are 12 years old and over. The Bureau of Immigration already issued this stern, firm statement that the unvaccinated and partially vaccinated foreign nationals, regardless of visa type, will not be allowed entry. So the first type of foreign nationals who are allowed to enter are fully vaccinated nationals under EO number 408. I call them the plain foreign tourists. No, they're not families of Filipinos. They're simply tourists who would like to visit the Philippines. They can enter visa-free in the country. So I'm showing you the list of countries under that EO408. Just put the link if you want to check out the full list. So as long as you're fully vaccinated and you are national of those countries, you may enter starting February 10. Now these are the requirements for you to follow so you can enter the Philippines. As I mentioned, you need to fully vax if you're over 12 years old. You need to have your accepted proof of vaccination. We'll talk about that later too in this video. And then you have to have an RT-PCR test result, negative 48 hours before departure, a return ticket to your country of origin or next country of 30 or next country of destination, not more than 30 days while per passports at least six months valid before arriving in our country and then a travel insurance with COVID-19 treatment coverage of at least 35,000 US dollars. Foreign nationals who are nationals of those uh, 157 countries can stay in the Philippines of not more than 30 days. Well Jennifer, I want to stay longer than 30 days. I've waited for so long to enter the Philippines. I want to stay three months, six months, I want to retire in the Philippines. Can I apply for an extension of stay? I want to stay longer than 30 days. Yes, you can. I called the immigration this morning and they confirmed it. You can apply for a visa. It's just the normal times, no? You can go to the Bureau of Immigration Office, apply for an extension of your visa. That's it. Just before the 30 days is up, apply for the extension. And don't worry with the insurance and return ticket requirement. They will not be asked. They are not requirements for a visa extension. I'll put the link for the information on visa extension, but just to give you an idea, for um, visa-free nationals, adults who would like to extend their stay for another month, one month, you have to pay 4,400 pesos, $50, $50 for the i-card, that is a card issued for foreign nationals. 
And if you want an express iCard, optional 500 pesos. Well, for those who want to extend for two months, stay in the Philippines on top of the 30 days. Well, the visa extension fee on the website is 4,900 pesos plus the iCard of $50. You can renew your visa up to three years. Next people who can enter the Philippines are Balikbayans. Those covered by the Balikbayan privilege. Who are they? Fully vaccinated former Filipinos, Filipinos who acquired foreign citizenship abroad. And their countries are still under the EO408. Their foreign spouse, foreign children of Filipinos or former Filipinos traveling with them. Let's say I am a former Filipino. Traveling with me is my foreign spouse and my foreign children. We all can get we all can get the Balikbayan privilege. The Balikbayan privilege gives you one year visa-free entry and stay in the Philippines. And it's free, literally. The visas on arrival, guys, the Balikbayan privilege, there's no charge payment for this. This is free, okay? I just want to emphasize that. <laughs> this is free. To avail the Balikbayan privilege, you just have to show proof. For former Filipinos, of course, your old Filipino passport or a Philippine birth certificate. For your foreign spouse or spouse of Filipinos, um, a marriage certificate. Then for your foreign children, regardless of age, let's say I am a Filipino, traveling with me is my 50 years old son. <laughs> he can get balik buy-in privilege. There is no age requirement as long as he is or she is your foreign child. He just needs to bring his birth certificate as proof of affiliation. Now, I want to make this clear for foreign spouse and children. If you travel together with your Filipino wife, a spouse, or parent, then you will get the Balikbayan privilege. You can get one year stay. But if you travel alone, let's say I'm a foreign spouse, I want to visit the Philippines, but my husband, Filipino husband, wants to stay in the US. So I will be alone traveling, then I will not get Balikbayan privilege. So I will get the 30 days visa. So that's a big difference now, one year versus 30 days. Apart from the old Filipino passport, marriage certificate, birth certificate, these are other requirements for Balikbayans. First is you need to be fully vaccinated if you are 12 years old and older, an accepted proof of vaccination, RT-PCR test result negative 48 hours before departure. Uh, passports of at least six months valid. Travel insurance with COVID-19 coverage of at least 35,000 US dollars. And then one health pass QR code. For the return ticket, as long as you can show proof of the Balikbayan privilege requirement, that's what I said, the old Filipino passport, marriage certificate, birth certificate, blah, blah, blah. You won't have to be required to show a 30 days return ticket. But please, please, please check with your airlines. Some airlines may not be aware that Balikbayans can stay up to one year. So they may ask for a 30 days return ticket. Please just double check. Then lastly, we have visa required nationals and holders of existing visas. Now, I want to be clear from the statement visa required you need to have a visa to enter the Philippines. If you are a national of countries not under the EO408, you need a visa. Unfortunately, the current requirements is that you need to secure an entry exemption first before you are issued a 9A visa. And that makes it very difficult for a visa required national to come to the Philippines. I don't know why EED is still required when everyone else, 157 nationals, from other countries can enter with ease but we are pushing for visa required nationals to be allowed without the EED requirement to simply let them apply for a 9A visa at the embassies abroad but for now yes EED still have it well for other types of visas whether you are holding an SRRV a 9F visa a 9G visa 13G visa you know everyone else with current valid and existing visa, you need to be fully vaccinated to enter or re-enter the country. That is a requirement. Only people, children who are 11 years old and under 
are exempted from that requirement. The entry for those with visa are much simpler than those visa free. So first up, as mentioned, you need to be fully vaxxed, 12 years old and older. And then your accepted proof of vaccination, your negative RT-PCR test result 48 hours, and then one health pass QR code, that's it. It's much simpler because you already have the visa. But just a warning for all foreign nationals, this was mentioned by the Bureau of Immigration in their press release that those whose proof of vaccinations cannot be confirmed will be subjected to a hotel quarantine until the release of their negative test result taken on the fifth day. Therefore, please consider please secure accepted proof of vaccination. So these will be the accepted proof of vaccination in the Philippines. For those vaccinated in the Philippines, Vaxert PH or BOQICV or any verifiable vaccination proof. Next up is for those vaccination abroad, majority of you, first proof that you can show is a national state digital certificate of the foreign government which has, which has a reciprocity agreement with the Philippines. There's a list for that, I'll show you. Another option is a WHO International Certificate of Vaccination or Prophylaxis, a yellow card. So if your country is here, is on this list, it means that your vaccination card or certificate will be accepted in the country. So for example, you're a foreign national vaccinated in Canada or in Turkey or in Kazakhstan or in Switzerland or in UK or in Belgium, Australia. You know, any of these countries, it means that what you have right now, the accepted proof, ex the vaccination proof issued by your foreign government will be accepted in the Philippines. While for those who are vaccinated in countries not on this list, for example, South Korea, uh, Indonesia, uh, Malaysia, um, Sweden is also not in this list. Well, please secure a WHO yellow card. You may secure this from a hospital or a clinic where you got vaccinated. This uh, yellow card is actually used for other types of vaccination. But yeah, um, I mean, it's it's your only option other than the, if your country really is not on the reciprocity list. I will gather more stories from foreigners who will arrive on February 10. I'm really hoping there will be some leniency on the accepted proof of vaccination. But for now, if you're not on the reciprocity list, if your country is not there here, please secure a WHO yellow card. And this is all. Just a summary. Filipinos, vaccinated or not, can enter. And then all foreign nationals, 12 years old and older, must be fully vaccinated. That is all for this video. I hope it gave you clarity. I want to emphasize that all arriving passengers must register to One Health Pass. I hope this video has helped you and if it did, please like the video. It helps the channel and share it to any of your friends or family who would like to come or visit the Philippines. Please enjoy your stay in our country. Follow the protocols like mask wearing, QR codes and entering establishments. Anyways, <laughs> I'll see you again with another travel update. If there's any changes, if you have any questions, comment down below and let's help one another. I'll see you with another travel update and subscribe if you haven't done so. Bye!